Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this webinar about getting the most from your 2018 um, show experience, specifically how to use the buyer and media list. My name is John Jesse. I am with the International Houselers Association. And on behalf of everyone who is presenting today, we want to thank you for joining us. Uh, 2018 International Home and Houselers Show, uh, by all accounts, was a great success. However, we do understand and we do know that the real success is what happens after the show in terms of your companies really trying to do those things that drive the top line. Hopefully what we will provide you today is a tool uh, to help you meet those objectives and goals. You can see up on the screen right now, in addition to myself, uh, joining me are Connie Shantos, um, Nancy Michael, uh, and Debbie Teschke, and collectively, uh, hopefully we'll share this information and that will be productive for you. Uh, the contact information that you see there, uh, just as a heads up, will be at the end of the webinar itself. So. Um, you'll be able to get more information towards the end uh, of the webinar. In addition to that, um, during this webinar, uh, you will, we will be able to take your questions, so please feel free at any time to use your chat function. I'm sure if you have a question, it will benefit um, everyone else that is on the webinar as well. We will also tell you that this webinar um, is being recorded and will be up on our website, elsewhere.org, uh, within 24 hours. Uh, you will see a lot of links and information throughout this webinar, um, and it may be a good opportunity for you to go back um, afterwards and get that information as necessary. With that in mind, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Nancy Michael to begin the webinar. Uh, good afternoon. We're going to, I'm going to just take you through the steps on how you actually get to the download portion of the buyer and media list. Um, so you'll see that link there, but just so you know, again, housewares.org, you can search all the material we're talking about and it'll take you directly to where you need to be if you don't retain any of this. So a couple of things you need in order to get the list, which is your company ID number and your 2019 seniority number. You should have received an email yesterday from your sales manager that had this information um, in the body of the email. If for some reason you didn't get it, um, please first let us know if you didn't receive it. Second, um, if you ha you can always contact your sales manager for this information or Radical Carney um, can also provide that for you. So www.housewares.org, um, the main screen up there, you'll see the upper navigation where it says show, you're going to Click on that and it's going to take you to exhibit at the show. And then if you look at the bottom of your screen in that green highlighted box um, where it says key exhibitor services, that's where you find the link to the marketing kit. And this is your best path to get to the buyer list. So you're going to click on the marketing kit and it's going to take you, this is only half of that landing page, but this is the half you need. You can either get into it through attract buyers or attract media. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you the next step. If you hit that attract buyers tile, it's going to take you to another landing page um, where it says buyers and media list. And once you click on that, it's going to take you to the landing page. If you click on the media one, it's the same thing. It's going to take you to another landing page and it says media list and you can get in through that way as well. Um, so once you click through that, you are at the 2018 um, login page for the to download the buyer list and media list and this is again where you need your company id and your 2019 seniority if you try using your old seniority number it will not allow you in um, and again just a disclaimer at the bottom of this page i don't know we are getting lots of spam email and people trying to sell you our lists or our buyer list um, we do not sell this list. This is free to exhibitor members um, and exhibitors. If you exhibited at the show, you have access to this list. If you're getting any of these um, emails that people want to sell you lists, delete them. They're not legitimate. We have not provided this information. We do not sell it. We do not give it away. Okay. I'm going to turn this over to Connie, and she's going to take you through um, actually using the download. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, once you have logged in, you will come to this page where you will see the show buyers and press or news media list. From here, you can click on one of the three 
uh, list and now download it in Excel format. Um, once you download it, you will open up your Excel list and this is how it will appear on the screen currently. You can make a, a custom target list by sorting. A few of the uh, sorting columns are retail business class, job function, and products of interest. These are just a few. There are many more uh, columns you are able to um, sort by. Once you sort, here is a listing of your product of interest on the very right-hand side. Uh, anybody, any of the attendees that have uh, chosen a product of interest code, they will have a Y in that column. We have approximately 21 retail business classes shown on the screen right now that you are able to sort by. You can also sort by job function. And we have about 32 products of interest codes that the buyers have had to um, list for what uh, products they're interested in uh, purchasing. Back to Nancy. So um, if you took advantage of the lead retrieval um, that was complimentary to all of our exhibitors, hopefully you took advantage of that. If you didn't, um, stay tuned for next year. We'll be offering it again. But those are, you know, when somebody comes into your booth and you scan their badge, um, you receive a list at the end of the show of everybody you scanned, every buyer, person who inquired that you took their information. You receive that list right after the show. Um, that includes their contact information, including an email address. So you can contact them for your post-show follow-up. And the bold lettering there is what the email was entitled. It came from CompuSystems, and it will say your sales leads from the 2018 International Home and Houseware Show. If for some reason you didn't get that, um, check your junk email boxes. We know that sometimes they go in there. And if you still can't find it, then you can contact someone here at the office and we'll get you to the right person. Either This is Connie again. Either you could contact your show manager or I would be happy to help you. Um, the bottom thing there is what gets sent to the attendee. So anybody who came into your booth that you scanned, they also get the list of every booth they visited um, and the company contact information for their post-show follow-up as well. If you had entered a product in the new product showcase, we uh, buyers were a buyers and news media media were able to scan each product that they were interested in. Um, right after the show, you should have received an email with all of the contact information of each person that scanned your product. Uh, if you have not received that email, feel free to give me a call or any, uh, uh, contact me and I'll be happy to send them to you. Okay, the news media list is on, as you saw, is on the same page with the buyer list. We encourage you to download this list to start pitching um, and follow up with the media who did, you didn't see at the show. Um, you'll be able to see everybody who came. If you have a PR agency, will you please download it and give it to them? We do not give the logins to the PR agencies, so I will get emails asking for the list and for the logins, and we cannot give that to them. So if you, um, we ask the exhibitors to download the list and provide it to the PR agencies um, on their own. Now, the media list um, includes all these types of media, consumer, trade, internet, blogger, and social media influencer. The consumer is your traditional um, newspaper, magazine, broadcast, trade are the trade publications. Internet are publications that are only on the internet. They don't have a print component. Bloggers are your mommy bloggers, lifestyle bloggers. Anyone with um, an audience of 10,000 to 50,000, we consider the blogger. And then social media influencer are your bigger type bloggers and lifestyle websites and YouTube influencers, and they would have an audience of over 50,000 um, people. And now, if you want to sort the list, if you want to know who is, was just in the U.S. or international because it's all contained in one, just sort it by the country um, 
field, and then you'll have you know, the international will be at the top, and then the U.S. Um, media will be listed at the bottom. And here, this is what the Excel spreadsheet looks like. As you can see, the media type is in the first column, so you can also sort by media type. Um, now, when you're creating your pitching list, I encourage you to look at the media and check them out as you would normally do when you're pitching um, media any time of the year. Not everybody is interested in all housewares products, and so take a look at the bloggers and the social media influencers and the internet media if you are not familiar with them and see what they cover. And then pitch those companies that are interested in what you um, are offering, what your products are. Now, some of the uh, listings have emails, others don't. And the reason is we gave the media uh, the option to have their media, their email listed for the exhibitors. And as you'll notice, a lot of them, maybe about a quarter of them, might not have an email. And that is because our exhibitors are doing a great job of um, sending out and pitching the media. And I have had requests from them during, before the show, asking not to have their emails listed. So again, be judicious in who you're sending your information to. Um, don't send a spam, don't send an email to everybody on this list. Um, be, and the more emails that they're getting from exhibitors that they're not interested in, the more will want, not want to allow us to have their emails um, for, given out. Now, during the show, um, did anyone ask you to pay for media coverage? We consider media to be editorial and free, not pay for play. Um, so anyone with a sales badge that said consumer media sales and marketing, they're the advertising side, the same on the trade side. Um, so if anybody with a blue badge that was writing um, about you, if they asked you to pay for coverage, that please let me know and they're not considered news media. Um, and, and the with the advent of social media and the explosion in bloggers and YouTube influencers, they're a little bit different. And their purpose is to write and you know cover and give coverage to companies, as well as they're looking for sponsorships and um, partnerships and to be your brand ambassador. So we do give media credentials to, to bloggers and social media influencers, and they may have wanted to talk with you about partnerships and about paying or sponsoring them, and that is okay. So you don't have to report them and tell me that this blogger you know, came and asked me to, to pay for um, a, a partnership with them. That is the, the new reality that's out there as um, media, media coverage kind of goes more to, to the social media realm. So um, hopefully you're all familiar with Housewares Connect 365. Um, the 2018 exhibitor list will stay active until the end of October. Um, so it's important that you continue to update your company listings. This will, you know, pre uh, media and buyers use this year, year round. We know this, they tell us this. So if you've got product introductions or press releases or you know, things you want to get out there, make sure you continue to update um, your listing. So we have a couple more things to cover. Um, want to call to your attention, the 2019 show dates are very early next year. We open March 2nd, we close March 5th. Please keep this in mind for your pre-show planning for 19. Um, space applications will be mailing the week of May 7th. Um, the deadline is Ju July 2nd to have your full payment and application in to us. This is very important if you're planning to return to the show. Um, this gets you into our first round of assignment. And if you want to have your same location as last year or you want to make a request, this is the most important round in terms of trying to accommodate what you're looking for. Um, then also the 2019 housing link is open. You can get that through the onpeak.com slash IHHS19 or now under that show tab that I showed you earlier to get to the marketing kit, there is um, a book hotels tab now. So you can just go right there and it will take you to onpeak to go ahead and um, book your hotels. Again, onpeak is our official housing partner. We don't work with anybody else. Be careful of poachers. Um, it can cost you a lot of money if you get hooked in with one of those. 
I'm going to turn it over to John to talk about trade missions. Yeah, for those of you who um, conduct international business um, and or are interested in it, um, IHA offers a couple of really um, great and amazing programs to allow you to really get exposure um, internationally um, and conduct a business that might not be as easy to, to do on your own. Um, that's done via really two vehicles. One are trade missions, the other is the Global Forum. Um, just as a heads up, the two trade missions that are coming up for this year, you'll see noted on your screen. Um, the first one is to Colombia um, on June 10th, and the second one is to Europe, um, featuring the countries of France and Spain, and that is in November, beginning November 4th. These are real great opportunities for you to not only network uh, with others on the trade mission, um, but IHA provides an opportunity to really schedule one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings with you um, and retailers within those countries um, in a speed dating type format to get introductions to retailers that you might not have normal access to. Um, we also provide um, retail tours in those countries so you can familiarize yourself uh, with retail in those countries. And then real quickly, Global Forum um, is our annual program that really provides an educational opportunity about um, how to do international business, uh, which is conducted by IHA this year's Global Forum. Uh, will be conducted in September the 23rd to the 25th in Toronto. Uh, this, too, is a great opportunity for networking because uh, you meet others who do um, um, international business, and it really is a couple days worth of educational ses sessions um, that are really beneficial uh, uh, to you. I'm going to turn it over to Debbie real quickly to talk about precedent. IHA offers our members and exhibitors two opportunities every year to meet with the consumer and trade editors and show them your new products. Our summer event, um, Housewares for the Holidays, will be June 14th in New York City. It's a great way to meet with the consumer editors and show them your new products for the second half of the year and the all-important fourth quarter selling season. Registration is open. Um, go to the website and you can um, sign up for it. It's a four-hour event and in January we had about 80 editors and we're expecting another great turnout from the news media in June. Uh, we have a quick question just to confirm what John was saying about the trade missions. Sure. Are, are the dates of the missions for 20, only for 2018? Yes, those are just for this year. Um, next year, trade missions, uh, which are not planned at this point, uh, will be to different locations, but those dates are firm. Thank you. Okay. So with that in mind, it's uh, somewhat short and sweet, but um, that wraps up this uh, webinar. Uh, we hope that you found it useful. The bottom line is that information, which a lot of shows do not share uh, with exhibitors, is available as part of your membership with IHA. And quite frankly, um, if you understand and know Excel and know how to get to that uh, point on our website, you really have a lot of data that's accessible to you that you can cut and paste, um, share with your organizations, and really make it easy for you um, to get out and conduct follow-ups to the show. So we hope you found this useful. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, what you see on the screen right now is our name and contact information. Please feel free at any time to contact any of us. And as I mentioned earlier, this webinar will be available within 24 hours that you can revisit um, and share with anyone um, in your organization um, any of the information that you found useful. With that in mind, best of luck on your follow-up for the balance of this year. We look forward to seeing you at the 2019 International Home and Houseware Show. Thank you.